After you have IntelliJ installed, this is how we're going to go about setting up JavaFX on IntelliJ. First, you must download the Java 13 application from the link provided in the Word document. The link would look something like this. Please download the right Java 13 version for the OS platform that you have. If you have Linux, download the Linux one. If you have Windows, the Windows one. If you have Mac OS, download the zip file. After you've downloaded the file, please unzip it and put it somewhere that is safe and secure and a place that you know and will be able to find again. After you've done with that, to set up JavaFX on IntelliJ, please click Create New Project. Now click JavaFX on the side here. And then on the Project SDK menu, please click the menu. Click Add JDK. And then click the unzipped folder that you downloaded from that website. After you've done that, click Next. Give your application a name. Click Finish and your application window should open. Every time you create a JavaFX application, make sure that you choose the right Java version from the drop-down menu. I have a lot downloaded. However, once you have added that file onto IntelliJ, that version should appear here always. Do not delete that file. Keep it somewhere safe and secure. JavaFX is now set up. There are no issues with your program. You can test this by clicking the play button on the top right. Application should launch. That means that you did something wrong. Please rewind back and follow the instructions carefully. One last thing that will make your JavaFX experience easier in IntelliJ is once you click on the sample, this is where all the GUI stuff will be written. Click on Scene Builder in the bottom, after which you will get a prompt on the top here saying that the Scene Builder toolbox should be installed with a link. Click on that link and IntelliJ will take care of installing Scene Builder for you. This will make it easier for you to design your GUI application. You can put your windows here. You can put buttons and controls. And then give each of the buttons functionality later on in text and code.